Hello everyone, and let's check out another exciting tall game from 1975. And in this chess game, Mikael Tal has the white pieces, and his opponent is a player with no name, who has the black pieces. And Mikael Tal starts the game with playing e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, d4, c takes on d4, capturing back with the knight, a6 by black, bishop to d3, knight to f6, and Mikael Tal castled, queen to c7, king to h1, d6, f4 by Tal, knight from b to d7, knight to d2, bishop to e7, Mikael Tal played, knight to f3, and black castled, queen to e2, knight to c5 by black, Mikael Tal played, e5, Attacking the center, black captured the pawn, capturing back, and once again, attacking the knight. Knight from f to d7, and bishop to g5. Well, in this position, Mikael Tal wants his knight on g5. Well, offering to exchange the bishops, but in this position, black made his calculation, and black captured the pawn, captured the free pawn. So if knight takes knight, then bishop takes bishop. Well, it is white to move, and Mikael Tal played. Bishop takes on e7. Knight takes on f3. And this is the important moment of the game, Well, Mikael Tal captured the knight. With lifting the rook, rook takes on f3. Mikael Tal has bad intentions for his opponent. And black captured the bishop. Well, why did Mikael Tal capture the knight with the rook? Can you see why? Well, Tal played. Bishop takes on h7, sacrificing the bishop, the Greek gift, and black captured the bishop, and then rook to h3, as expected, king to g8. And how to make any progress? Maybe queen to h5. Well, Mikhail Tal played. Knight to f5, attacking the queen and sacrificing the knight. But of course, if pawn takes knight, then queen takes queen. So the pawn is pinned, black played, queen to g5, not allowing queen to h5. What would you do in this position? Mikael Tal played a move, and black resigned. Well, if retreating the knight, then black is winning, black is a piece up. Well, in this position, Mikael Tal played queen to h5, and black resigns. There is no defense, threatening checkmate, and at the same time, attacking the queen, how to defend? Well, obviously, if capturing the knight or retreating the queen, black is getting checkmated. So let's check out the possible continuation. If capturing the queen, what happens then? Rook takes queen. No. Knight to e7. Check. And black has only two legal moves. It doesn't matter. If king to h7, then rook takes queen, and black is getting checkmated. Checkmate. Black is getting checkmated. There is no defense. So this is why, after queen to h5 by Mikael Tal, black resigned. Another. Beautiful attacking chess game by Tal. After this miserable position, Black resigned. What a game. Whatever Black does, Black is getting checkmated. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.